I'm turning 30 in a month and I just found four gray hairs throughout the entire course of my body. Readers, I know that I'm usually picky about a lot of things, but the one thing that I've noticed that I'm very picky about is when it comes to anime. So picky that unless it's actually recommended to me based on my current likes on anime, I probably won't touch it. In all honesty, that's pretty much the only reason why I watch Devil Man Cry Baby and Yuri on Ice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I used the wrong pronunciation for that. Yuri on Ice. There are three explanation marks. What are some of my favorite anime? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's why for this Readers for Lives, I figured that I'll go down the list of my top five favorite anime. Series, not, not necessarily movies. That might be another thing. Starting with my number five, which not only got me into anime, but mecha anime as well. Gundam Wing. I'm not gonna lie, readers, this wasn't always my favorite anime series. As a matter of fact, I was pretty upset at the fact that this anime had the nerve to exist. Like, back when it aired on Toonami, I purposely did not watch the first half of this series out of sheer spite. Why, you may ask? Because the time slot that it took over belonged to Ronin Warriors, and that was my shit. Like, the big bad just uh, just absorbed all of the armor, so he's just like, he's just like the most dire of threats. The main leader of the Ronin Warriors was about to square off with him, Mano Imano. So after that episode aired, the next day, I was sitting in front of the TV ready to see how this was about to go down, and what did I see instead? The first episode of Gundam Wing. I was devastated. <laughs> Like, I was not sexually active at the time, but I could imagine that that was what a cock tease felt like. But yeah, when I got over my pettiness and decided to give Gundam Wing an honest try, they were already in space, and three out of the five mobile suits had received their upgrades. As a matter of fact, the very first episode of Gundam Wing that I decided to sit down and watch was when Zex was piloting the Wing Zero, and Hilo Yui was piloting the Epion, and that when they had their little switcheroo moment. And ever since then, I, I was hooked. <laughs> The mobile suit battles, the espionage, like, the politics. It's pretty much the reason why I enjoy Revenge of the Sith as much as I do is because of Gundam Wing. And then I just decided to watch all of the episodes and I just fell in love with it even more. Especially when Endless Waltz came out. Gundam Wing's pretty much the reason why I'm into anime in the first place and more specifically why my favorite, like, ongoing series of different anthology anime is the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise in general. But, like I said, there is a reason why this is number five, because my number four is Death Note. Which, if you're a longtime follower of the channel, should come to no surprise to you. As I said in my video regarding what went wrong in Netflix's Death Note movie, Light Yagami slash Kila pretty much made that show for me. At the time, I was writing a mystery thriller that involved a serial killer a la Scream, and this show was like a very heavy source of inspiration for me. Yes, I am in fact still working on it, along with everything else that I decided to start writing when I first attended college, Jesus fucking Christ. But while the supernatural aspects of Death Note were pretty much the icing on the cake for me, I was mostly in it for like the drama, the storytelling, everything that happened from first episode to last. I loved the dynamic between Light and Ill. I loved seeing how Light was going to get out of certain circumstances. It was just the right anime that came to me at the right time. Albeit, I'm not that big of a fan of like Elle's book club when it comes to like Nier and all the other ones like that. Another reason why it's pretty low on my favorites list. But other than that, it was pretty solid. My number three, however, is a classic. And that one is Cowboy Bebop. I, uh, I feel like I don't need to explain myself. So let's just, let's just, let's, let, let's just, let's just go on to my top two. And I'll be honest with you readers. <laughs> Choosing which one deserved the number two and number one slot, it was it was tough. It was very tough. But at the end of the day, I just had to decide which one meant more to me. Like, they both mean a lot. Like, a hell of a lot. Like, they've influenced my storytelling. They've influenced my, 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 like, my tastes in, like, certain genres and everything. They've, they've done a lot. A lot. 
Which is why my number two is Gankutsuo, The Count of Monte Cristo. I love this anime. <laughs> Have you ever watched Chowder and you just watched how the characters move, but their colors slash like fabric patterns never change and you thought, holy shit, that looks fucking awesome. I wonder what else did that. Gan Kutsuo, bitch. Gan fucking Kutsuo. Not to mention that it is a, a stellar, stellar retelling of The Count of Monte Cristo. I, and I already love that story. So when I saw that they did an anime like, futuristic space earth thing it was it was great the animation the art design everything the way the characters moved to like accent like those like solid patterns that never moved and everything it just add a sense of like weirdness like it was still but it still flowed i loved it and as far as the story is concerned, the pacing was just excellent. And as a person who lived for these types of stories and everything, I never really found a, any episode boring at all. Albeit, I'm definitely the type of person that completely understood Shakespeare in high school when everybody else needed spark notes. But I mean, I, she, could, she, I mean, come on. But yes, readers, I love the fuck out of Gankutsuo, but my number one spot. My number one spot is Paranoia Agent. Like Death Note, Paranoia Agent came to me at the right time in my development. <laughs> Paranoia Agent is the reason why I love supernatural thrillers. Paranoia Agent is pretty much the reason why I love the fuck out of Devil Man Cry Baby. <laughs> Paranoia Agent is pretty much the reason why I didn't have that big of a deal going through Doki Doki Literature Club. It's just, it's just like, it's just, I've seen all this before and I love it. <laughs> but like I said, readers, it's because of these five series that I'm very picky when it comes to anime. And it doesn't help that I have friends who have made it their specific goal to expose me to as much current anime as possible. Which is why my friend and I started a podcast recently called The Weeb and the Normie. Guess, guess, guess who's the normie? For those of you who don't know, a few of my friends and I have been a part of this podcasting network that we started called D Saint Radio. And the Weeb and the Normie is a podcast that my friend decided to start up because he wants to expose me to new anime. In this podcast and in other podcasts that are associated with D Saint Radio, he goes by the moniker Shadow Akuma, and he's given me the moniker Maxwell Knight. Don't, 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 don't ask. But right now we're actually in the middle of the second half of the first season. So if you want to listen to any of the episodes, but, but j just, just, just skip episode one. It's, it's just full, it's just full of inside jokes and everything. The real shit doesn't start until episode two. You can click the links in the description below for your favorite podcast providers. But nevertheless, readers, I'm curious. So your homework assignment for the day is to write in the comment section below what your favorite anime series are. Or if you feel like outwardly judging me, rate my list. <laughs> If you want to support the channel, you can purchase official merchandise by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed. <laughs>